Okay, you're good.
No, the third thing, that was the third thing. What was my second? My third thing, before I, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. Um, my third thing was to get more general member feedback. Again, I did put out those surveys. I really <coughs> do want to implement like more of your ideas. This club, like, the meetings are for you, like, the officer board, we can get up here and talk about what we want, but who cares if it's not what you guys want to come see and listen to? Um, I'm going to look at my notes because I forgot. <laughs> my second thing, oh yes, yeah, taking a step back and looking at where UFC came from um, and just learning more about the basics of our culture. Like, I will openly admit there are basics that I don't know. Um, and it's like with social justice and political engagement, it's a journey. And I think we all need to sometimes take a step back and see like how has UFC evolved? Again, with Barrio being 25 years this next year, where did that start? Where did that come from? What has the history of this club looked like? So overall, my, those are like my goals and my expectations is to really step into this position and try to reach out more to, again, the alumni, the members, and just our SU community in general. Yeah. Um, Kim, so you are asking for my expectations, my goals, and what was the other part? It was like mainly asking, so like how exactly are you going to um, expand on like the vice president, with the vice president role when, within constitution, because constitution does say like, there's like no solid um, line telling like what the vice president does, so like how are you going to make it your own? So, a big part of being a vice president, I think, is um, knowing how to be a good support system to each of the board members. Um, I wrote something. <laughs> so, I'm a person who knows what it's like to be on the board and not feel supported. I'm a person who knows what it's like to be a general member and sometimes feel like an outsider. Um, I think this is a very big problem and I know that a lot of people feel this way. I think that uh, the level of camaraderie needs to change and it needs to, it's not at the level that I would like to see it as. So to do that, um, one thing that I did my sophomore year was implement this system where I created a Google Doc and um, gave access to all of the all of the members of the officers and um, it was a way for them to keep them um, what is the word? No, 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 not engaged, but keep them responsible by like making sure that they, they support each other uh, by going to each other's events and activities. Uh, and for them to also look back at that document and see that they are being supported by this person, this person, and this person. That's something that I did to my sophomore year. And you know, I like really thought about it, thought about like something else that I could bring. But you know, it's really hard. It's really hard as a vice president, and so many vice presidents before us have struggled with this. And I think that it's gonna take me some time to make up something new, but I'm I'm willing to take more time to sit down with it and think of something that I can bring. Join like 
club volleyball or participate in yoga and stuff like that and like live a healthier life. So that has really shaped who I am. I'm gonna be completely honest and say like UFC is pretty much the only thing I've been involved with on campus. It's been really hard as a commuter student all my year. I, for those of you that don't know, I live in Everett. I live like 20 miles away from here. Like I drive like at least an hour, sometimes up to two, to get to school every day. And so my first year, I wasn't involved with UFC at all. I went to the first general meeting and I like dropped off face of the earth here because I was so involved with I like, used to be part of a dance team up north and I just didn't have time to get involved, but then once I got involved with UFC in my second year, um, I was a gen member and then obviously I ran and am an officer this year and I became fully involved. I acted at bar. I never thought I would act. Like that was my first time acting and I was like, this is scary. Um, so honestly, outside of that, it's just been other cultural events on campus. It's really cool to go see like Fiesta last year was like super fun. That was my first other cultural event, being able to go to like BSA is uh, SWAN just, what was it, two weeks ago or something like that. That was really cool. And so I think just being able to connect with the other cultural clubs on campus has really helped me, um, help shape me and keep me connected to SU. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your nomination. Um, <coughs> second of all, I, um, I'm so proud of y'all. Uh, because myself, I served as an executive, well, back then it was called executive vice president. Um, same thing. Uh, just not executive anymore. <laughs> uh, I served as vice president uh, my junior year. Um, and for me, that was also, er, both of you, I'm proud because both of you acknowledge something that's super, uh, like a, a hole uh, in your roles. Uh, and that is that there is no uh, exact role, uh, and Jeff also touched on it, and both of you touched on it, and I think that's awesome that you all are coming in with that past knowledge and that you have uh, plans to change that. And so that was going to be my question, and now I have to like think of something else. Uh, and so I will go back to the Constitution and tell you all what it does say about Vice President. And it says to, in short, to uh, support the President and fill in whenever the President cannot fulfill their duties. Okay. So, case study. What if? What if um, you're working? You, you know, you're starting your school year, and uh, everything's working fine. And you know that your president, uh, you, you have a very good relationship with your president. You know their schedule. You kind of know how they work. And then all of a sudden. Um, you know, they're not so much fulfilling their duties as a president, um, they're delegating most of those things to you, um, appropriate or not, um, and you know that maybe the president isn't uh, really busy, uh, there's nothing occupying them, so maybe you're concerned about what's going on. How would you address that situation? Okay, simple communication is like the best thing. Um, you really have to like work together and sit down and just be honest. That, that's the best thing you can do. But while being honest, you still have to watch yourself and re reflect on like you can't be angry. Like if you're if you're angry, then it's just going to cause more problems, and then you're just going to have to get your advisor to come in and. So just be honest, but like watch yourself, watch your body language, um, and just talk it out. I completely agree. I mean, this is something I had to practice when I was a leader for the dance team that I talked about earlier. Um, our director and like founder of the company, he really emphasized separating your personal from your professional and knowing that if you're not fulfilling your duty as president, like I'm going to call you out, but I'm doing it because I care about you and your role. It's not a personal thing. And being able to accept that it's not personal. I'm not trying to like, uh, I'm not coming at you to like affect our friendship. This is just, we need you to, you know, step up. You're, you're kind of lacking in these areas, but not, you know, go up to them and be like, hey, you're just suck. Like that's not, it's <laughs> not a way to solve it. <laughs> you know, so just being, being honest and straightforward 
and just knowing that, hey, this isn't a personal thing, you just really need to, you know, what do you, and asking them what do you need, is there something we can do to like help you fulfill that role, or are there things like maybe I can help take over? Uh, <laughs> Understanding the situation is important, and like I said, just knowing like I don't mean it personally. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm trying to do what's best for the club. 